Here's a quick little video series on creating some flexibility and mobility in the hips using the foam roller and a simple figure four stretch and a calf stretch to allow you to create better movement patterns for your squats and your lunges all by just spending a little bit of time for about the first seven days. As you get better at these movements and as you get better at the stretches, you'll notice that you'll be able to scale back and maybe not do them quite as frequently. My thoughts are that if you can do each one of the rolls, each one of the stretches, one to two times per side, and then potentially one to two times a day, by the end of day seven, you should feel a tremendous amount of relief and a whole lot of new mobility that you didn't have before. Um, and then we're also gonna incorporate some strength and stability work too with some bridging exercises that as you continue to do them, we'll be able to increase the repetition and be able to increase the workload so that you get a little stronger through your hips and, and whatnot. So give these all a try, check them out in sequence, let me know if you have any questions, and I'd love to hear some feedback. Thanks. To foam roll the calves, what we're gonna use is your foam roller here, this could be your grid. We're gonna put it down in between your legs, right around calf level, right around the thickest part of your calf. We're gonna start with one leg right on top, we're gonna take the other leg, cross it over, right there in the middle of it. We're then gonna lift up as best you can and roll up and down nice and slow, one inch per second on the calf muscle. As you're moving along, making sure that you keep your ankle that you're on for the leg that you're on nice and relaxed. As you're moving, you can also take the time to pivot right and left a little bit if you want to, to find areas that are a little bit more tender. Now, if this is just too intense for you to navigate, you can also leave your body down and just push down with the top leg and create more of a knee bend pattern and work on that until you can work up to holding your body off the ground. I like to say do about one minute on each leg so that you can get the max benefit out of it. And if you need to repeat, do it one more time on each leg. Shoot to try and do this at least once, maybe twice a day for the first seven days. To foam roll your glutes, we we'll take your foam roll and we're gonna sit on it. Really important to lean onto one side. So I'm gonna be on my right rear, right side of my, on my butt, put my right hand down on the ground, cross my right leg up over my left. Once I'm here, I just wanna roll nice and slow up and down on my butt. Here, we wanna think about trying to keep our foot flexed too and keeping our hip open away from our chest the best we can. Again, we're moving really slow here. We don't wanna go very fast. And as you're moving along, if you find an area that's a little bit more tender, hold there, give it a few seconds to release, and then continue rolling up and down in the same spot. While you're moving along, you might wanna rock front to back a little bit when you find a tender area as well too, just to create a bit of a different sensation. We'd wanna do this about a minute per side and then probably repeat again one more time on each side. You wanna try and complete these at least once a day, if not twice a day, for the first seven days. Okay, we're gonna foam roll our quads, which is a very common area that gets really tight for a lot of people. So what I want you to do is start with your foam roller down in front of your right leg. Once we're here, we're gonna hold on to it with one hand, with our right hand, we bring our left hand down on the ground. Put yourself down into a plank position. Notice my left leg is off the ground and my right foot is off the ground as I begin to roll up my thigh to about mid-thigh or so, and then back down to about just above my knee. Rolling up to about mid-thigh, and then back down. Moving really slow, about one inch per second. I want you to stop right around mid-thigh after we've done about four or five rolls. Fishtail your leg right and left, and then bend your knee five times. You're gonna to work to whatever your range of motion will allow when you go to bend your knee. Then you're gonna continue rolling back down and back up. Once you've done that, we're then gonna switch and move from mid-thigh all the way up to about your hip bone and then back down, mid-thigh to hip bone. Repeating the same process when you come back down to the midpoint again after about four or five rolls, fishtail and knee bend five times. This is one of these exercises, one of the stretches that you can do definitely daily, hopefully twice a day during your first seven days of getting set up and then maybe you scale it back afterwards. Give it a shot, let me know how you feel. Okay, now we wanna work on some hip stretches here. 
Uh, most importantly, is going to be our figure four stretch. And I'm going to show you two different ways you can do this. Okay. Number one, we're just going to lay back in the figure four position, crossing one leg over the other. Once you're here, you can just take your, I've got my right leg over my left, so I'm going to take my right hand and push my left hip open a little bit. Now that might not feel like a whole lot of stretch or anything, and you don't want to be too aggressive, you want to be mild. Now, if that feels like you can do that okay, level two would be to reach up, grab behind your thigh, okay, and pull your left leg toward your chest to increase the stretch out here in your rear end and in your hip. Level three, if you can do so, would be to reach around the front of your shin, grab your shin, and pull back. As you're stretching, keep your arms relatively straight so you can use your shoulder blades to pull your hip back and get a big stretch happening out here in your glutes. Again, you'd want to do this about 60 seconds per side, and then what you'd want to do from there is do it two times on each side, time permitting. Again, if you can do this once a day, maybe even twice a day, I think the benefits would be pretty high or any time that your hips feel pretty tight. Okay. okay, we're gonna work on stretching out your calves a little bit down here. And what I want you to do when you stretch out your calves is pretend this is like a staircase in your house or any stair. And give yourself something you can hold on to for stability. We're gonna start with both feet up on the stair or on the ledge, making sure the balls of your feet are just over the edge. Now from here, I'm just gonna drop one heel down and get a nice big stretch down my calf. What I'm looking for here is as I look down, is that my foot is nice and straight. I don't want to see my foot turned in or out. I want to make sure that my foot is lined up with my leg all the way down and up. I'm just going to hold this about 30 to 60 seconds on each side. Does not need to be aggressive. Mild to moderate stretch. Aggressive is not better here. You want to think you want to feel a nice gentle stretch coming at the back of your calf anywhere from down here all the way up to your knee. Again, both sides need to be done 30 to 60 seconds, and about one to two times per side. Again, time permitting. And if you can do it twice a day, even better. Ah, that feels pretty good. <laughs> okay, now we've done a lot of flexibility, so let's do a little stability and strength. So we're gonna work on the bridge exercise. I'm gonna show you how to progress it through a couple different things. Number one, we're gonna get ourselves down, hips down, back down, and our feet are only about two fists apart from each other. Once we're here, what I want you to do is tuck your pelvis by using your abdominal muscles. Make sure your feet are flat. Make sure you can feel your heel, your big toe, and feel your ball of your foot on the ground. Tuck your pelvis, squeeze your butt cheeks together, and drive your hips up. What we don't want is your back to arch. So if you feel that happening, you need to re-engage here and focus on tucking your pelvis back. Should be a lot of work here in your rear end. We'll lower down and come back up. You're gonna do this about 20 times, moving at this pace. Then you take a little breather. Then we're gonna do what's called a bridge march. And in the bridge march, we're gonna to get to the top, hold the top, and then we're gonna alternate bringing a leg off the ground, slow and controlled. And when you bring up one leg, make sure the other leg doesn't fall down, keeping your hips up nice and high. And when you do that, about 20 marches. You do each one about two times, and then, you'd want to try and do that one to two times a day. 